Hello Bio 1070 and welcome to Costa Rica. We've stopped here in the rainforest along the road that we're going to drive up to the cloud forest there because I wanted to show you what climate change looks like here. In our third inquiry unit, we're going to be spending a lot of time talking about changes in isotherms across latitude and the effects physiological, ecological, and evolutionary that's going to have. And I wanted to point out these mountains here because they're characteristic of much of the mountains across the tropics and the neotropics in the world and how climate change is affecting these biodiverse, incredibly biologically rich mountains. And that is that when we're standing here today, you shouldn't be able to see the tops of those mountains. They should be covered in clouds. And one effect that we see of climate change is that the clouds are getting pushed higher and higher up and they're covering the tops of those mountains less and less frequently. So the species of animals and plants that have evolved in cold, wet, almost like a the bottom of your refrigerator, they're frequently exposed to this hot, driving sun. And so that's causing an enormous effect on a tiny surface area of the planet. So by far the north, Canada's north and the global north, the, by far the majority of area affected by climate change and isotherms across latitude is in our north. But also by far the most biodiversity that's being affected is here. This is one of my favorite spots heading up the mountain. We're about 700 meters on Volcan Cacao right now. And this is a particular spot where I have a camera trap that's running through time. And this particular spot is frequented by a family of tapirs, or danta. And so I love to find that evidence of the tapir, the biggest animal in the forest. <laughs> 